One of the most sacred places in all of Japan, Mount Koya is the center of the important Shingon sect of Japanese Buddhism and stands stoically on the key peninsula to the south of Osaka. Not only does this mountain boast an abundance of natural beauty, but the secluded hilltop temple town is a charming escape from the busy city and also a great place to experience an overnight temple stay. And on this trip, that's exactly what we'll be doing. I'm Sam Evans, staff writer for japanguide.com, and over the next two days, I'm on assignment on Mount Koya. Here's the plan. Starting in Osaka, we'll ride the Nankai Railways all the way from Namba Station in central Osaka to the Koya-san cable car, with one transfer along the way. After riding the Koya-san cable car up the mountain, we'll take a bus to the center of town and walk through Japan's largest cemetery to the famous Okunoin Temple. To end the first day, we'll get a taste of the monastic life by staying overnight at Ekoin Temple. On day two, after experiencing some morning temple rituals, including a fire ceremony, we'll walk to Kongobuji and Garan, two historic and important Shingon temple complexes. Finally, we'll take a brief hike from Daimon Gate along one of the area's many pilgrimage trails before taking a bus back to the cable car and returning to Osaka. So follow along as we go on a short side trip from Osaka to Mount Koya. Day one. So we've just arrived on Mount Koya and the first spot that we're going to visit today is Okunoin, which contains the largest cemetery in all of Japan. Now the reason that so many of the deceased are represented in here is because everybody wants to be close to Kobo Daishi, the founder of Shingon Buddhism, and it is said that he's resting in eternal meditation in the mausoleum at the rear of this complex. So let's go and check it out. just arrived at Gobyobashi Bridge that leads to the sacred precincts of Kobodaishi's mausoleum. Uh, it's customary to bow when crossing the bridge. Also, uh, beyond the bridge is held as so sacred that we can no longer film. Our next stop is at Ekoin Temple where we'll be staying the night. Before dinner, we'll participate in two traditional temple activities, namely sutra copying and meditation. So I've just got to the room and I'm about to enjoy a temple dinner. Uh, now temple stays are typically simple, but as you can see, the accommodation is very nice as well. Visitors can expect to get their own room, but will likely have to share other amenities like toilets and baths. So we've got some tempura, uh, some nabe, which is Japanese hot pot, some gomadofu and some fruit, uh, which is all vegetarian and it looks delicious. Day two. As part of the temple stay experience, before breakfast we'll observe a morning prayer service followed by a traditional fire ritual.
We've arrived this morning at Kongo Buji, the head temple of Shingon Buddhism, and it's home to an array of beautiful features, including Banyute, which is the largest rock garden in all of Japan. So the garden's rock formations are meant to represent two guardian dragons that are emerging from a sea of clouds. So we've just arrived at Garan, another of Koyasan's most prominent religious sites. And the temple's most impressive features are the Kondo Hall and the Kompon Daito Pagoda. Diamond Gate behind me is the traditional entrance to Koyasan. And around Mount Koya, there is a substantial network of trails. Today, we're gonna to start here and we're gonna walk over to Nyo Nindo along a portion of the women's pilgrimage route. And this part of the trail network is great for people like us who don't have a lot of time. So let's get on with it. Finishing the short pilgrimage trail, we'll take the bus back to Koyasan Station, from where it's a short cable car ride to the Nankai train lines, which will take us back to Osaka, where our trip will come to an end. Thanks for joining me. I hope this video has been enjoyable and perhaps even inspires some ideas should you be planning a trip in the Kansai region. For more information or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide first-hand from Japan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about Japan. Happy travels.